Hi, my name's John. Anybody who's watched my channel over the last few weeks will see I've done quite a lot of reviews on some welding gear. Uh, what happened was I bought a, a TIG welder, AC DC TIG welder, from a company called Artec. I did a, I did a bit of video on it. Artec obviously saw this and they like what they saw. So they asked us to do a review on a 50 amp plasma cutter, which I did, and the plasma cutter was great. And uh, they've been back on again and they want us to review a 250 amp inverter mig set which is good because my mig's not working very well what they're doing, they're linking, they're linking these reviews onto their website which is good because people can see what they're actually going to buy and it also means I'm getting more views which is, which is good for me so it's working, it's working out quite good both ways uh, it's actually in a box behind us they sent it up uh, so I'm going to open a box with a camera well, I'll open the box with a knife, but I'll use the camera to, to watch us open the box. We'll see what's in the box, and I'll put it through its paces. Um, like I told them, same the last time, if it's shite, it'll get sent straight back. But if it's anything like the quality of me tea welder, very happy with it. Real good value for money. So what we'll do, we'll open the box, see what's inside it. Because uh, I've never opened it, I managed to resist to open it, I don't want to turn it to work this morning. Uh, we'll see what's inside the box and uh, we'll set it up and I'll go through all the various scenarios of different wire sizes and speeds, what you can weld, what you can't weld, really give it some stick. Um, I fancy making a, a press for the shop, a short press, so there'll be some heavy welding to do, uh, both MIG welding and stick welding. I still like, I do like stick welding, but MIG welding so quick and clean. Anyway, we'll open the box, see what's inside and go from there. Right, this is the this is the box that's come in. Uh, I wasn't at work this morning when it was delivered, but obviously somebody's got a sign for it. Make sure the box is not damaged, which it's not. We'll open it up and see what's what's in here. This is excellent. This is like having a like a second Christmas. Same as the last one, I'll wrap it up and polystyrene. The box here, we'll look at the box first, look at the box up first. I imagine this will be the torch, which it is. We've got my gas pipe. Regulate that, the standard, standard type. Regulator. Yep, twin gauge regulator. One gauge shows your, your bottle contents. The other one shows your actual outlet pressure into your, into your set. Lead. Copper earth lead, same as the earth lead that's on the TIG welder by the look of it, same size connections. This is my torch, standard type Euro fitting, quite a big torch, but there again the welder will do 250 amps. Spanner there, spanning a couple of couple of tips for the torch. The metal bush there, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure the instructions will tell you. It could well be for the oh, I know what it is. It's a ring for the, the wire feed. Roller for the wire feed mechanism. So with a copy. Right now I want to 
But the handbook, instruction book, you can download this offline. Offline, you can download this online if you want to have a look at it. So you can see the machine is quite well, quite well protected and wrapped up. Consider what it's capable of doing. All looks good. Where the wire is. Video showing how the, the wire goes in the different size spools. I believe it takes a five and a, and a 15 kilogram spool of wire. It's a metal feed mechanism, some of them are plastic. Yeah, this is metal. Three knobs on the front, one's are voltage, that's your, your power, the other one's your wire speed, how fast your wire comes out, and that one's uh, your ambitch for your, your stick welding, your MMA welding, which is what those two connectors there are for, that one there is for your torch, standard fitting for a standard Euro torch, so if you, if you are welding, say, car body work, on thinner wire, a lower setting, you can put a smaller torch on than that one, the torches aren't expensive. Obviously it's supplied with a torch that's capable of taking 250 amps. It's the same as a torch I've got on the well that'll work, I've got a one eight amp megatronic that work, megatronic at work with the same torch on as that, now well cars, no problem. It comes with a plug on, all these welders come without a plug on. The welders designed to run on a 32 amp supply if they're going to use the full 250 amps. You can put a 13 amp plug on and run about 160 amps. What I've got, I've got an adapter, I make an adapter up so I can go from the 13 amp supply and plug the welder into it because I'm going to put a 32 amp plug on because I want to use 250 amps. And I'll use it on the 13 amp supply and show you exactly what it will do on a 13 amp supply. If you try and get too much from it, it'll, it'll pop the fuse, simple as that. Switch on the back, gas inlet, big cooling fans, the earth point there if you want to ground it your ground it your bench. Can't do any harm. Then we'll get a plug on, get some wire in and play with it. I like the smell of it. Must be some of the marrow I suppose. 